Hello everyone, Jai Hind and welcome to the platform Bajjo's exam prep, the most comprehensive preparation app for all exams. My name is Varsh Singh Suray, MXND 115 course and I welcome you all on this platform. In this today's session and in this video, we'll be covering all the details regarding the CDS examination. The examination that gives you the opportunity to join the Indian Armed Forces, whether it is the Indian Army, Navy or the Air Force. And the complete details will be in English. This special video is for those students of mine and the Baiju's exam prep who are preparing, but uh, they could not find the stuff uh, only in the English. So ultimately in this video, I'll be covering all the details in English language itself. So I'll be covering the process, the complete process, the written examination, uh, how it is conducted. Uh, also, I'll be covering the marking scheme of the written examination. Along with this, I'll be covering in this complete video session, uh, the CDS 1 2024 important dates, as well as the eligibility to get uh, into the CDS 1 2024 exam. Both the eligibilities, your age, as well as educational eligibilities. Then I'll be covering the syllabus for the written examination and also the SSB process. So please be with me up to the end of this video so that you can understand the complete details about the CDS examination. Now, coming forward, what is the complete process of the CDS examination? The first step is the release of the notification that is uh, notified by the UPSC or the Union Public Service Commission. After the notification, you fill your examination form and then there is the issue of the admit card. You are issued your admit cards for the examination. Then you have to appear in the written examination. Then there is declaration of the written exam that you have given. Afterwards, after the declaration of the result, you appear in the SSB interview. That is a five day process. And finally, there is declaration of the final uh, result or the final merit. Now, when we are talking about the uh, process or the exam, the CDS exam over here, it is, it is uh, conducted by the UPSC. The written exam is conducted by the UPSC twice in a year and the mode of the examination is offline. That is, you have to give examination on pen and paper based and also you have to fill the OMR sheet to mark your answers. Then the, uh, the medium could be, it, uh, it could be Hindi or English as well as the number of questions for the IMA, INA and AFA. That is Indian Military Academy, Indian Naval Academy and the Air Force Academy. The number of questions are 300. And for the Officers Training Academy, that is OTA, the number of questions are 200. The difference is because for the IMA, INA and AFA, you have to appear in three papers. But for the OTA, you have to appear in just uh, two of the uh, papers. All right, the time duration for each paper would be two hours each, as well as there is negative marking, one third negative marking will be deducted. So this, this is how the test uh, is uh, you know conducted. For the IMA, AFA, as well as INA, there are three tests or the three papers, English, Journal Knowledge and Mathematics. And when you appear for the IMA, INA and AFA uh, academies, you get permanent commission. <clears throat> On the other hand, for the OTA, there are only two papers, English and journal knowledge. And when you appear for the OTA exam uh, or the for the OTA Academy, you are granted short service commission. Now, when we are talking about the uh, written examination, so you can see how the marking scheme is there. For the English and GK, the marking scheme as well as the number of questions that remain same. For the English, the number of questions and the GK, it is 120 and the maximum marks is same for all the subjects, that is 100. That is why for the correct answer in English and GK, you get 0.83 marks. But because there is one third negative marking, so if you have um, answered any of the uh, question incorrectly, so in that manner, you will get minus 0.28 marks as well. So there is negative marking, one third negative marking that you have to be aware. And for the mathematics, the number of questions are 100. So that is why the over here for the single question, you will get plus one marks and for the incorrect answer, you will be awarded negative marking of minus 0.33. Now, these are the important dates for the CDS 1 2024 exam. The date of notification, notification will be released on 20th of December 2023. And on the same day, you could uh, start filling your application forms. The last date for filling the application is 9th of January 2024. And then 
the D Day, that is your written examination, will be conducted on 21st of April 2024, and the results will be declared in May 2024, and the SSB dates would be announced in June July 2024. So these are the required educational qualification. If you wish to appear in the CDS examination uh, for the Indian Military Academy, IMA, as well as OTA, that is Officer's Training Academy, you just require a graduate's degree. All right, you require a graduate's degree. You have to have a degree from a recognized university. It could be a three-year course or a four-year course. And also, you could apply in your last year of graduation. So if you are there in the last year of graduation, then also you can apply for the uh, CDS examination. Then for the Indian Naval Academy, that is INA, you require a degree in engineering, that is BE or BTEC. From a recognized university, again, if you are in the last year of your uh, engineering degree, then also you can apply for INA, uh, Indian Naval Academy. Then we have AFA, that is Indian Air Force Academy. Over here, you require either the degree in the uh, engineering, that is BE or BTEC, or, or you would have done uh, 10 plus 2 with the physics, chemistry and maths, that is PCM. And then you have uh, pursued your uh, degree in any of the courses. All right, that doesn't matter. So then you can apply for the AFA as well. So you should, act, you should have maths and physics at the 10 plus 2 level. Then you can apply whatever the degree that course you are pursuing or you have completed. You could apply for the AFA also. Let me remind you over here and let me tell you over here that the for the AFA, when you will fill the AFA as a choice, you will be selected for the pilot's entry. All right, you will be granted commission as a pilot in the Indian Air Force. Now, what is the age eligibility? So for the CDS 1 2024, the age eligibility would be for IMA and INA. It remains same. All right, so for IMA, it is that you should not be born earlier then 2nd January 2001 and not later than 1st January 2006. So if you fall within this bracket, then you are eligible for the uh, IMA as well as INA. Then for the AFA, you should be born not earlier than 2nd January 2001 and not later than 1st January 2005. Then you can appear for the AFA as well. And then for the OTA, you should be born not earlier than 2nd January 2000 and not later than 1st January 2006 then you can appear or you can apply for OTA Academy as well. So these are the age qualification or the age eligibility. And you over here, you can see on the, uh, on the basis of the bracket where your date of birth lies, how many attempts you have for the OTA as well as for the AFA. Now, what is the syllabus for the written examination? Now, when we are talking about the written examination in the English portion or the English subject, you will have comprehension passages, also synonyms and antonyms, that is part of your vocabulary. Then fill in the blanks, error spotting, sentence improvement, jumbled sentences, idioms and phrases, grammar and its usage, parts of speech, indirect and direct speeches, then active and passive voice, rearrangement of sentences, as well as closed test. That is the syllabus for English paper. Then for the general knowledge, uh, when we are talking about the general knowledge, so you should be aware of the current affairs, that is, national events, international events, as well as sports, awards and honors, books and authors, polity related major issues, like for example, any law that has been made, like for example, Women Reservation Bill has been passed and it has been made act. So which constitutional amendment act uh, it, it has been uh, given that you have to be aware. So such type of polity related issues, economics, as well as social issues. For the history, you have to cover ancient history of India, medieval history of India, and the modern history of India. You do not have to cover the uh, you do not have to cover the uh, world history. All right, just Indian history, geography. In the geography, you have to cover the physical geography, economical geography, as well as environment and the uh, ecology, human geography as well. And that has to be covered not only for the India but also world geography is also included in your syllabus. Then also, you have to cover in the general knowledge, Indian polity and governance, economic and the social development, science and technology also, defense and security issues. So that is the part of syllabus for general knowledge. For the mathematics, like I said, mathematics is only for those who are, will be appearing for IMA, INA or the AFA. So over here, the complete syllabus is you have to cover number system, integers, real and rational numbers, fundamental operators, square roots, decimal fractions, also unitary method, 
टाइम डिस्टेंस एंड वर्क परसेंटेज एंड रेशियो प्रपोर्शन सिंपल एंड कंपाउंड इंटरेस्ट एंड प्रॉफिट एंड लॉस इन दी नंबर सिस्टम सेक्शन Apart from this, you have to cover the elementary number theory that is uh, division, prime and composite numbers, also test of divisibility, multiples and factors, factorization theorem, HCF, LCM, also uh, the Euclidean al algorithm as well as logarithm. Then you have to cover the algebra also, basic operations, simple factors, remainder theorem, polynomials, quadratic equations, as well as linear equations and laws of indices. In mathematics, you have to cover, apart from that, trigonometry, geometry, mensuration, and statistics. These four areas, trigonometry, geometry, mensuration, and statistics, they hold more weightage in the uh, complete mathematics uh, paper. All right, after your examination, then you go for the SSB also. So if the SSB is, like I said, it is a five-day process. In the five-day process, it is divided into two stages. Stage one is screening. That happens usually on your first day of reporting. Over here, we have two tests. That is PPDT. That is picture perception and discussion test, where you are, show, uh, where you are uh, shown a picture on the screen that is on your, uh, you know, there would be a projector screen that would be in front of you. And then on that basis of that image, you have to write a story afterwards. You have to narrate your story to the group and also you have to uh, have uh, or you have to get into the uh, this thing, uh, the group discussion where you have to come to a common story for your complete group. Also, there are OIR tests. OIR test is basically the test of the reasoning. Reasoning as in simple reasoning, verbal and also non-verbal reasoning question are asked. Then there is stage two. Stage two over here, we have psychology. We have psychology test where we have four different types of tests. That is thematic apperception test. We also have word association test, situation reaction test, and the self description. There is interview also where you have one on one interview with the uh, president or the deputy president of the board. There is ground task with the GTO that you do. There are numerous tasks on the ground that you cover. And also afterwards, there is conference where you have uh, declared or the, the team, or the complete board, it declares whether you have been recommended for the SSB or you have not been recommended for uh, in the SSB. So that is the complete process of your CDS examination. Now, if you want to, get into the CDS 1 2024 so you can see over here the achievements of the Baiju's exam prep. Over here you can see the CDS 1 2023 result. We have the All India Rank 1. Along with this we have numerous All India Ranks which have prepared with us and they have qualified their exam. You can also be one among them and uh, for this you can join for a streamlined study for a complete uh, study plan, you can uh, get enrolled into this batch that is Kankar, a foundation course for the CDS 1 2024. We have English only batches also, so you won't have any problem with interacting with the faculties that we have. This batch is getting started on 18th of November where you will get curated, complete study material, study plan, and you will be able to complete your whole syllabus with us within the limited time plan that we have right now. Also, you will get the uh, notes, quizzes after the classes and also you will get access to the most important concepts for the exam. And you can see 700 plus of our aspirants who are from the Kankar batch, they have qualified their CDS 1 2023 written exam as well. So you could be also one among them in the CDS 1 2024 exam. And if you wish to join me on my Telegram, you can join me on my Telegram as well. For this, you either you can search me at the rate Bhavar Singh Sirohi or uh, you can, uh, you know, uh, you can just uh, scan this is, uh, Q, with the QR uh, scanner and ultimately then you can get uh, connected with me on my Telegram channel as well where you'll get the daily quizzes, live classes as well as free PDFs, daily PYQs and the live interaction as well. And if you have any problem uh, related to the courses, if you have any problem uh, while you are purchasing the courses, you can always connect to our counselors at this number that is 9650529904. Alright, so that would be all in this video. I hope now you would have complete understanding that what is CDS exam, how you have to prepare for it, which all sections you have to cover and also the complete details of the CDS exam in this video. I wish you all the best for those who will be appearing for the CDS 1 2024 exam. Thank you. Bye-bye. Take care. Jai Hind.